Hey, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to the Telephone Game YouTube Hop from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. This was uh, started by Christy Harriman, and she's Christy's Beautiful Life on YouTube. Um, and we've been doing it. I don't. I don't even know what round this is. Probably like five, six, maybe seven. I'm not even sure. But we've been doing this off and on for quite a while. We do it a few times a year. And uh, what it is, basically, we start, somebody starts with a layout, and then they send it to the next person. They create something based off of the first person's layout, and then they send a picture of theirs to the next person. So you only see the person that was right before you. You never see the original, and you don't see the people after you until, uh, the, until we go up on YouTube. That's when you see it. So these layouts were made over the past couple months. Uh, everybody gets a few days to create theirs, and so uh, this is the first time I am seeing who is after me. So before me is Kelsey, Kelsey Webster, and she has a beautiful layout that I lifted fairly closely, and then um, from there I sent mine on to Moira, um, and Moira had done her own take on it. I have no idea what she's done, and I'm super excited to check it out. So I started with these papers. Um, I don't even know where the gray one came from, and that top piece that has the floral is from Pink Fresh Studio, and I really like that. I thought it was super pretty. Um, normally, I have a really difficult time with their papers, but this particular paper, I've used it a couple of times, and I really like it, and so I'm, I'm just going with it. I am inking everything up in black soot distress ink. Um, I chose that gray paper as a large border. I normally don't make my borders that large around my layout, but Kelsey's was large, so I went with large as well, and I like the way that it looked. I did gut that paper so I could use it again, um, and you'll see that later on in the video. And then I had this die from, let's see, that's from Spellbinders, and I've had it for ages. I don't even know which, um, what, it, what it's called or anything like that. It's been in my stash for probably a good 10 years. And so I just decided to go ahead and die cut those. And you know what? I think this is actually maybe even the first time I've used this die. And it's, like I said, I've had it for probably 10 years. Um, but uh, I, I really like how it looks, so maybe I'll use it again without waiting so long, you know, within the next 10 years. So <laughs> um, she had a little rip in hers at the top there, and so I went ahead and ripped mine. I didn't want to rip it down too far because the die only goes down so far, and I, I like that it's it's showing you more of that die cut, um, but it's not showing you like a big piece of the pink, um, you know, like a big gap, basically. There is something filling that gap, which is the die cut. So I really like how that looks. And then she has a doily on hers. I don't, I don't end up going with a doily. Um, I did pull one out, and I pulled out um, some different... I was looking in here for this viewfinder, but then I don't even end up using that. So what I end up doing is I use this roll of blue tape, and I just trace around it and cut it out. So that is going to be my circle element. Um, in place of the the um, doily that she has, she has actually paper underneath the doily as well. But uh, I I'm I'm not going to add paper. I'm just going to leave this gray piece. And I really like how it looks. It just adds a little a little something extra. But um, it also doesn't like I don't know doily doilies are not my go-to. It's not that I don't like them. I just they're just not my go-to. And so. I thought I would try the viewfinder. The viewfinder wasn't my go-to on this one either. But um, I do stick it in there thinking I'm going to use it, but it gets replaced. So hopefully um, you're not too attached to it either. <laughs> uh, it just is so black on this page. I think that's the problem with it, and I wasn't really thrilled by that. So then Kelsey has several layers of paper below her photo. So I'm going to start layering up mine as well, and I'm using this die-cut piece that has the tab at the top and the hole punches on the uh, left hand side and that die is actually it's much longer that's cut in half right now um, it is from Elizabeth, Elizabeth Craft Design and it's one of her journaling die sets and I really like it I've only used it a few times but um, I love the way that it looks and I love that it has the hole punch and uh, the paper that I used there it looks like notebook paper but um, it I think it's like from a 
I'm not even sure what it's from. <laughs> I can I, I shouldn't say that it's from something because I don't know. Um, but I like how it looks. And then uh, I am inking up everything, like I said, in black soot. And normally I don't go for solid colored cardstock, but I thought I'd bring in this blue because it kind of is a darker shade of that blue that's in that Pink Fresh Studio paper. And then the Pink Fresh paper has that pink in it, so I brought in the pink diagonal stripe. And it also has that, um, it's not really mint green, but it's kind of minty-ish green. <laughs> um, maybe pistachio green, I'm not really sure what you would call it. So I brought in this other green paper to kind of play off of the green that's in that paper from Pink Fresh Studio. And I'm just adding the smallest bit of it. You're only going to see a little bit around the photo. It's not... Um, it's not like a huge focal point or anything. There's going to be that little edge sticking out uh, to the right of the photo. But um, other than that, you know, you can definitely see the green in the blue uh, paper at the bottom. So it just kind of goes all together. And then I like the back side of that blue paper is this pink, I don't even know what to call that, maybe watercolor striped uh, paper. <laughs> and so I like that. And I'm going to bring that in as well. And I want some of that sticking out above because in Kelsey's um, photo of hers, she has a corner of one of those pieces of paper tucked down or folded down. And so that's what I'm going to do with that. And I, I wanted to use that paper because it has the blue on the back side, which I'm already using as my kind of base for my um, photo layers there. And so it's just bringing in an extra touch of that because I am covering up a lot of it. But uh, you are still going to see it because it's going to be all the way around the outside, so that works. And then I'm bringing in a little bit more of this gray just to provide a little bit of a uh, barrier or to add some definition between the two layers of the pink stripes. One is a horizontal stripe and the other is a diagonal stripe, but being on top of each other, it was really hard to see that there's an actual layer there. Um, so I just wanted to bring in that gray to kind of make that pop a little bit more. And I'm just building up all these layers. And I think this is really cool. Uh, I do love layering paper, and I, I have kind of gotten away from that a little bit lately. But um, I do love it, and I love the way that it looks. And I just, I don't know, it's, it's so pretty. There's a lot there for your eye to see, but if you do it in the right way, um, it's not overwhelming. It all kind of goes together very well and it's very subtle and and that's what I like about it so I'm gonna leave that viewfinder there for a little bit while I kind of play with the idea of adding these tags so Kelsey has some tags sticking out there from underneath her photo and so I pulled in this paper that has um, it's a line like a lined paper or journal uh, school paper, I don't know, lined paper basically. And so um, I pulled that in and I am basically uh, just going to create a little tab top, a tag top and I'm going to stick it in there below the photo and I like how that looks. Um, but while I'm doing that, I'm the whole time I am just thinking about that black viewfinder. It is just too dark and I've left it there, and this is what I do when, I, when I'm not really 100% sure. I kind of leave things alone and do other things while I'm kind of like thinking about it and mulling it over. And there's nothing else black on the layout aside from the black ink that is bordering or edging everything. And even that is subtle because my ink pad is not super uh, juicy. It's kind of dry, and so it's kind of more char charcoal looking than black looking at this point at least. So I'm just going to keep playing around and figuring out what I'm going to do while I, while I think about that. Um, and as you saw there, I also did use my tiny attacher to, attach, to uh, staple that corner down in the upper left-hand side. So then I end up looking through some of the stuff I have on my desk, and I have this heart with a gold uh, outline. And that is when I have that aha moment. That's what I want to use. And so I just kind of layer that in there and remove that big black viewfinder. I knew it wasn't going to stay there. I just did not know what to put in its place. And so uh, sometimes the struggle is real. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going through my box of gold 
um, ephemera and stickers. And if you haven't been following me for a long time, um, you might not know that after I have worked through a collection or an ephemera pack or a sticker sheet as much as I think I'm going to use it for, um, right off the bat, then I will kind of cut it apart and sort all of the pieces out by color and put them in these little black boxes. And they are what I call my color boxes. And they are what I go to when I am looking for something of a particular color to put on a layout. So I end up going through there. I find these tickets and they are th just the right shade of gold and I'm tucking things under the layers on the left hand side of the photo and then I'm bringing some stuff up to this upper right hand corner just like she has on her layout. I really like how that's looking. It says so cute. Um, and that's just a picture of me and my husband and my grandson hanging out on our couch. And uh, there's, it's it's just a nice family moment. There's not a whole lot of story that goes along with this. But I um, apologize for my head in this camera right there. And uh, so I just wanted to document that, that note, that moment. Um, that little black piece says, you are my person, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, it says, you are my person. And um, I am going to end up using that one that says favorite, and it's going to go right there nestled underneath it. So uh, it doesn't really say you are my favorite person. It says you are my person favorite, but uh, you get the idea. <laughs> so it works for me. Um, I like the way that that is looking. And then I am just going to keep tucking in things as I find them. I'm going to put this little piece right above where it says so cute. It's got a little heart on it and that that is going to be where I stamp the date, which is September 20th of 2020. So, and then I am just going to write on that little tag, uh, that little ticket that's in the upper right hand corner, a little bit of journaling that we are hanging out on the couch. And I've added some gold hearts. I like the way that that looks. I'm going to add this little gray piece um, just to bring in another shade of gray. I've got a lot of layers going on and as I, as I add things to these areas I just think it looks really good. Um, it, when you have a lot of layers, when you just keep tucking things in, it looks cool. Um, at least in my opinion. And <laughs> this is when I realized that those were actually stickers, not tickets, and so I had to peel the backs off of those. But um, lots of little added details. Then I'm adding some gold color shine, and uh, I am pretty much almost done with the layout here. So make sure you go and check out Moira tomorrow and Kelsey from yesterday. The links will be down in my description box down below, um, and you can see what their takes are and how things changed. And then you will be able to follow people after Moira, and actually I think there was somebody before Kelsey as well and you'll be able to follow the progression of this particular layout. Um, there are other teams playing along as well, so if you just check out Telephone Hop, you will find them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.